if Felix is meowing, it's because I have closed the door. He's not going to get in here because he's just going to mess up that, that setup. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a finale for Upper Japan that I'm going to restart in January with a bunch of lovely ladies and I'm so excited for this to be a collab next year. It is the whole collection Project Pan and I was inspired by Alexi and Becky Loves Kanga that did this last year and this year and I'm just really excited to be starting restarting this with the ladies next year and I'm I'm over the products that I'm working on now so I'm really excited to redraw some new um, items next year. So let me show you where I ended with some of these products and overall in the project I have finished and hit goal on a lot of items and I'm really excited about it. I have definitely gotten some use out of my collection and this project helped me and I'm really excited about that. That was kind of the purpose of this project for me. Yeah, let me just show you where I am with these products. <laughs> Let me talk about the product that has been here in the longest. That is my W7 Metallic Matte Lipstick in Neptune. This is a metallic red lipstick. This is everything that I have left of it. And yes, I had the goal of this being done by this time of the year. That did not happen. Midway this year I set a halfway goal. Um, I'm not there at all. This is where I want to be and this is where I am. I have used it once or twice since last update and you can see on the tip that it has been used. It is slightly slanted at this side. Slightly. So I have used it. I wore it in my last video. I'm not going to say any more, anything more about that because I can't promise you anything. I really want it gone soon but I don't think it's gonna happen. Then we have the Naughty Nudes W7 lipstick as well and this is in Sunshine. I have it on my lips right now. This has been one of my go-to lipsticks for reapplying throughout the day and it has been working out really great. I'm not at my goal line but I'm almost there. And you can see that I have used it a lot because the name is rubbing off which is really exciting, kind of. <laughs> this is everything that I have left. This was brand new when I put it into the project and I have been using it so much, so much. Let me show you the line. This is where I started in the intro and this is where I am now, the line above the line with the G. So the line with the G is the goal, G for goal. And that is the base of the lipstick. So I have all of that left. I think I did really really good on this lipstick. I haven't been using it that consistently until this month. Yeah, still not very good progress for a month. But yeah, this is really nice. I'm really excited and I do really love this lipstick. My lips has been a little bit dry so it hasn't been pleasant to use a matte lipstick. But it's there. I've used it. I'm, I'm happy about it. I love that lipstick. I have two liquid lipsticks in this project. One that I have drawn two updates ago, I think, and then the one that I drew in last time. My goal was to use both of them ten times each. No, I have used this three times, two times since the last time, I think, and then I have used this more than ten times. I'm really excited about that. I stopped counting after ten times. I love this shade of liquid lipstick. Oh my god, this is so nice. I I was not prepared to be loving this as much as I do. I wouldn't say there are like user mark, but when I, maybe you can do that with all liquid lipstick, but if you can see, when I swirl the applicator around, windows appear. And to me, that means there are less product in it. So I'm really excited about the progress on these two liquid lipsticks. I haven't used the eyeliner at all in the last month. It is the NYX Retractable Eyeliner in Aqua Green. This 
turquoise teal thing. I have a lot left in this and it is broken at the base so that's really really annoying but yeah I haven't used it at all in the last month but yeah there it is the base all of that I haven't used the single shadow kind of uh, from a palette that I drew. I did hit pan on it uh, major in the last three months you know but again I haven't used it since last time I have used this once at a Christmas party on my eyelids, this glitter from W7. It is a pink glitter and it was perfect, absolutely perfect. And I loved the outcome, but I don't use glitter on a daily basis in this form. I have used a glitter liner here and there in my everyday life, but not a straight up glitter. My Get Gorgeous highlighter from Technique and I am wearing it right now on my cupid's bow nose and this is where I am now. So I am using a bigger fluffy brush so I'm kind of covering this part of the highlighter but I have been really focusing on it uh, this month um, plus another highlighter and I had a pen on the other one but this is baked so this is going to take forever but you can definitely see that I have worn down the print here. In the highlighter so that is really really exciting the cream shadow i have it is the needle sure eyeshadow in soft copper this is how it is looking like this is where i am now and i will of course insert the picture from last month so you can see the difference i have a huge dip in the product now i was actually hoping for me to hit pan and at some point i thought i had but i don't think i have so, the last thing I have is my W7 Stoke of Genius Eyebrow Pencil Microblade Brow Pencil in Brunette. This one right here. I took off the cap for the spoolie because I wanted to bend it and it was just easier in the morning because the cap was so hard to take off. So, I haven't measured this since last time because I didn't think I would make that great progress but I am almost done with this. Uh, let me insert a screenshot from last time. That is everything I have left. That little thing right there. That's everything I have left. That is nothing. Oh my god. <laughs> I almost finished a brow pencil in a month. That is insane. Insane. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you are going to look forward to the project next year and I can see I am low on space on this memory card so before it closes off I am going to thank you all so much for following this series it has been a huge success and that is why I am starting next year with it as well so I hope you guys enjoyed and until the next one please take care and check out the other ladies if you haven't already